Okay, this is how you discover the answer for question number 21. 21, who is the author of book titled Mathematics with Fun? Mathematics with Fun is this one. Then how you find the answer? Mathematics with Fun, you have to find out the unique ID, that is B01. B01, then you have to find out the link table. Link is this, B01 is this. It is linked into author ID 1005. Let's search 1005. 1005 is here. Who's 1005? It is Lalit Vijay Naik. So answer is number four. Lalit Vijay Naik. Okay. Understood how you find that? You first find the primary key, then go to the linking table, the prime foreign key table. So using that, you find the link to the next primary key and you browse that using particular primary key and find the record in the other table. So this is the name. Okay, then question number 22 to 22 to 27. Question number 22 to 27. Okay, try to find the answers for this. 22 to 27. Which of the following statements are false about HTML? False, right? Asking the false statements. HTML stands for hypertext markup language, which is true. HTML stands for hypertext markup language. Web pages can be created using HTML. Yes. HTML tags determine how web pages are displayed in the web browser. Yes. HTML documents are created by using a web browser. No, it is displayed using a web browser, but created using web authoring tools or any text editor. So four is wrong here. So answer is four. According to your answers for 22, Lushin and Praveen has not answered. I think you have answered previously. Right? Okay, Lushin's answer is correct. Which of the following HTML tag pair can be used to make numbered list? Numbered list, it is ordered list, OL and LI. That is 23 is for OL and LI. Uh, Praveen, it is not 21. 23, it's not one. It's OL and LI because, so let me show this and this in brackets. Okay, there are three kinds of lists in uh, HTML. There are three kinds of lists in HTML. The first list type is called ordered list. Let's say, let's create ordered list. Here you can see OL. <coughs> let's go to a for, formal one without any attributes. And the second one is unordered list. And third one is uh, definition list. Ordered list has list items. Unordered list also got list items. And definition lists are not having list items. Instead of that, it has data, uh, sorry, uh, definition terms. HTML is a term and uh, so in the long format, hypertext markup language is the definition description, DD, definition description. And DT is the term, DD is the description. Okay, let me save this and show you the preview. This is uh, page2.html. If you open this, and uh, you can see the preview now. The first one is ordered list one, two, three. The second one is unordered list. That is why you have bullets. The third one is definition. List. These are the three type of lists available in HTML. I think you can take a screenshot quickly. So take a screenshot quickly. What is ordered? What is unordered? And what is definition? These are the three type of lists available in HTML. Okay, so in ordered list, it is possible to change the type. You can give the type. Type can be one, two, three, four. That is the typical different format. Def sorry, default format. It can be A, B, C, D, E, F. Capital A, B, C, D, E, F. It can be simple A, B, C, D, E, F. And with the capital I, you can assign, if you assign capital I there, then it will be Roman numbers. Simple I is the simple Roman numbers. If you assign simple I, they are simple Roman numbers. So there are five types 
of these five types what are they uh, so one two three o oh, here this you can see the types one two three a b c d e uh, roman numbers simple roman numbers capital and simple letters so these are the five types available for ordered lists by default it is one two three and you can also give starting position another attribute you can give starting position there so let's say starting position is three three means this is starting with c because one two three a b c is the third letter and if i give here let's say i i'll give simple a and i'm giving 30 then 30th simple letter will be a d a e a so two letter format so you can give a large value also then it will be more letters so similar to number plates right similar to the number plates you can see and if it is capital you'll get the capital letters simple will simple letters and if you give a roman numbers it will be roman numbers right likewise you can give the starting position as well as the title so starting position is not valid for unordered list unordered list all of starting positions done in it it is not valid for unordered list but you can give the type so the default type of unordered list is default type of unordered list is um disk disc that is the default if you make a normal dump right the starting position is one and the list type is uh, let's say a in abc here disk is the default unordered list type and you have two more formats square that will give you squares here and another thing is circle so three types of unordered list circle square disk five types of ordered list a capital a simple a capital i simple i one two three four five i think it's clear to you so if you want take screenshot of this as well also change these things and see definition list you don't have such Okay, let's move to the next one. So here, OL and LI. Numbered list, no? Numbered list, ordered, OL and LI. Which of the following statements are correct? Search engine used to find information on www when the relevant URL is not known. Oh, unknown. Oh, you can search the page. Search engine power check around the That is true. You can search the page if URL is unknown. If you are, if you know the URL, you can directly access. SMTP is used to transfer messages between mail servers. Yes, true. SMTP means simple mail transfer protocol. Simple mail transfer protocol. If you want, you can write down. So there are different protocols. Actually, protocols are set of rules. HTTP means hypertext transfer protocol used for web. HTTPS is hypertext transfer protocol secure version used for web. FTP is file transfer protocol used for files. And POP is post office, uh, post office protocol used for sending mails. Then, sorry, receiving mails, receiving mails. And then IMAP, Internet Mail Access Protocol, that is also for receiving mails. DNS, Domain Name System, special protocol for which translate domain to IP and IP to domain. TCP is Transmission Control Protocol, works with Internet protocol for works with IP, internet protocol for reliable delivery. So reliable delivery to acknowledge the packets, to send the packets in a reliable way, to uh, recover the missing packets, 
to find out and DSM reassemble the packets. TCP. UDP, user data Trend protocol, is another protocol. This is non reliable, but works with IP for fast delivery. The TCP is like a bus which has a route. IP is like a taxi which is not having a route. It is fast, but no route, not reliable. TCP like bus. It has a route. And bus has a route. Taxi, not having the route, it's not reliable. But it is fast. So basically for video streaming and all, video streaming and all, UDP is more sleeps. TCP is used for reliable delivery. Works here, right? Not work, works with IP. IP is for inter, inter, IP is internet protocol. So please do study about these protocols, very important part, because they are set in roles in network communication. All right. So SMTP is used to transfer message between mail servers through. To receive message, we have IMAP and POP. So there's a difference in POP. POP PKD, it will take the original message. It will download the original message without keeping a copy in the server. The original message is taken. But uh, IMAP is taking a copy of the message, then you can access message again from some other device. Then IMAP in email like a bell word pass a mobile phone like a web begin with the IMAP in email like a balana. When a device second with IMAP begin with a balana, they copy a download the line in a copy a kin, Peter Patakin. Have I popping while email like a bell word pass a device second to download the no? Apos are at when a device second in balana bell word, a connect. So that is the difference between IMAP and POP. Both are for mails. FTP file handling. HTTP web. HTTPS is also for web, but it is secure. HTTPS is encrypting. Encoding, encrypting the data. You cannot, so the, uh, maybe a person in the middle cannot see the HTTPS traffic. They cannot read it. It's secure. It's mostly used in transactions, passwords, using password, the password-based environments, Login, logout things, uh, send in credit card and card details payments. So we need HTTPS. When you have HTTPS, you can see a padlock there. When a site is with HTTPS, you can see a padlock. Make it HTTPS colon double slash www.nationalinstitute.of.education.lk which you can see a padlock. And I don't look here, a padlock. But if you access the HTTP, access the same site with HTTP, you can see the cross in the padlock. It's not secure, same, not secure. Okay, so that is a brief about these protocols. So let's discuss more in maybe the second paper or structured paper, we can discuss more about this. So let's move back to the questions. SMTP is used to transfer message between mail servers through web server translate domain name to IP address and IP to domain. No, 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 no. It's only domain to IP address. But anyway, it is done by DNS. Domain to IP conversion is DNS. So SMT transferring is correct. WWW searching thing is correct. AB both correct. So answer is one. 24 answer is one. Because web server translate domain name to IP address. No, it is DNS server. Domain name system is the one which transfer domain to IP. So question number 24, the answer is one. The last answer is correct. Okay. Question number 25. Which of the following is a false statement? Internet is a network of networks, true. HTML document which is accessible through the internet is called web page, true. A web page can contain multimedia contents, yes, true. It can contain images, videos, etc. The internet and www are same, no, it's a false statements. So the asking false statements, so number four, 24, 
number four. They ask in false statement. Praveen, I really advise you to read the paper before answering. I know that you knew the answer, but unfortunately, because of your fastness, you try to answer fast without reading much. They ask in false statement. You have given the true statement for question number uh, five, 25. So please be careful. I can see, so because you are technical, you have good knowledge, Praveen, I have seen that. But when answering questions, I think you have to be careful because you have you are always like trapped. What I feel out of traps will tell you, paper a kid, you know, Google will tell you. So make a deck up. Eco as a matter very careful that to hit the name in the wind at the Balan Network, a girl of trade and not. I have seen that. So please try to reduce that mistake, right? Otherwise, in the exam, it's not good for you. Okay, question number 26, 27. Let's quickly answer and finish for today. Question number 26. Which of the following HTML tags and parameters can be used to create a given table? So this table is having table tag for sure. TH, yes, that is why the bold and center is there. TH tag also there. And TR because rows are there. So you need TR also. Table, TR, TH, all three needers needed. And then, so here actually you are merging two things. Merging two rows means row span two. Table, okay. TR, okay. TH, okay. TD with row span two. Yes, merging two rows. TD with row span two. That is correct. Question number 26. Answer is number one. Number one. So, but the marked answer is Praveen says it is number four. No, no, it's not number four. It's row span here. Yeah? Merging two rows means row span. We discussed this, right? Merging two rows, row span. 26, what about Lashen has not given the answers? Why? You couldn't read that? Maybe. Okay, so are you okay with this or do I need to explain this by drawing the table? Can do that also, right? Let's do the table. Let's create the table. Name, telephone number, Premachandra and uh, Sivaraj. Let's create the table quickly. So this table, you need the border. Let's say border is one. Then you have rows, how many rows, table rows. So basically you have one, two, three, four, five rows. Inside that, how many cells? In one row, two cells. Table, the first one is TH, table heading because the name and tell number, name. Another TH, that is tell number. That row is done. Then another table row. So there is general row, let's add two table data for this, table data, table data, and this is how you're doing in the exam. Actually do it in the rough paper. You have one, two, three, four, five rows, I think. One, two, three, four, five rows, yes. TR, 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 five rows, save this, and let's see the output, and you can see this table now. Okay, but uh, the thing is you should, you need two table data, so I couldn't add that. Now you can see that. And you have telephone numbers in this. So let's add some bogus telephone numbers. I don't know. You can add the same telephone numbers, but it'll take more time. And let's add some telephone numbers. Here also some telephone numbers. Some telephone number. You can add the exact number, but just want to see the preview. Okay, done. So let's see now. You can see four numbers are there. Now you have to merge this, merge this. To merge this with the next one, you have to row span with two, two. So you are merging this row with the next row, this cell. Similar to that here also, you can row span to two. Means you are merging this one with the, the bottom cell. So that's it. And here's the output. And there you can see some other Premachandra and Sivaraj. Let, let's add Prem Chandra and Siva Raj there. Prem Siva, just add in the short name. Save and see this and you can see the output. Prem Siva. Okay, 
here's the table, here's the solution. So it is quick, fast, and easy. Take a screenshot of this if you really need the highlighted part. And row span comes here. Row span comes here, not the pulse span. Then table is there, T, R is there, T, H is there, T, D is there, and row span 2 is also there. Therefore, answer is number one for the question. Okay, I think I hope you have taken the screenshot of this. Okay, let's move to the question number 27 and finish the discussion for today. Next day, I'll discuss the remaining part and move to the next paper also. Which of the following is correct format of an email address? No one senavi dot gmail dot com. No at this need. No one to senavi at gmail dot com seems correct. No one senavi at gmail underscore. No, no, it's not underscore. No one at senavi at gmail. The dot is also missing. The two is the answer for here. This is easy question. 27. Number two is the answer. It's a very simple question. Okay, so with that, uh, I'll stop a little earlier because actually we need to discuss the other things. But uh, so if we start, still time is not enough to finish. Need to explain which one, Lashen? You asking need to explain. So can you repeat which one? Sir, twenty sixth one. You explain, sir. I have done that, right? It's clear to you, right? Yes. Okay. Then. Let's see you all next week. Good night. So please do the questions and come. Don't misunderstand. Read carefully. Don't be hurry. So do it carefully. Okay, good night. See you all next week. Thank you, sir. Welcome, right?